Hello, good day and welcome to this great events platform. Today, I'll be showing you how I use this app next to prepare a bridal fascinator. What I have here is just one yard. This is the big app net. And I have some roses, some already made roses. You see how beautiful these roses are. And then I'll be working with thread and needle. I just want to add a little bit of I just want a touch of this bead on it and then I'll be working with the comb. Um, let's start. The first thing I'll do is I'm going to secure this edge. You know, this net have a way of losing very fast. And if care is not taken, you just lose it. It will just go bad. So I will first of all secure the edge. I'll use the needle and thread to secure the edge. Okay, so I'll tie. All right, you can see I've secured both edges. Secure both edges. The next thing I'll do is that I'm just going to work with the needle and thread. I'm going to use it to pick it round. Okay. So I'm just going to start from one end. From my secured edge. Not then I'll start picking. You know, try as much as possible to follow a straight line so that you have a almost equal movement with the needle as much as possible see what I'm doing just pass my, passing my needle through it you know carefully till you get to the other end okay this is what I'll get this is what I'll get but the next thing I'll do right now is I'm going to place it on the dummy or I will arrange it with my own hands without placing on the dummy but it would be better if you place on the dummy I don't really like dragging it from this place and just securing it I like forming the shape that I want with the dummy head so I'm just going to so I'll just place it on my dummy head like this this is how it will look on the head now you can see so from this point I will start adding my roses uh, add my beads I have my candle gum ready for use uh, I'm going to start decorating now so I want to use another of the art nets to just form a very simple pattern before I will add the roses on it so what I need to do to get my pattern now is I'm just going to close it together like this, you know, equally. Then I'm, I'm going to secure the edge as well. Secure it with thread and needle. Used. The difference now is just going to fold. Look at it. Before I pick, I'll just fold it into two like this. And then pick the edges closely. Just pick the edges closely. Pick the edges closely. Make sure it is into two. That's when this uh, pattern will come out properly. And you know, you cannot actually cut this net. That's because you will just destroy it. So you don't cut it. I'm just going to form a circle, something like a circle with it. Uh, the end result will be wonderful. Just, just continue carefully. All right got into the end okay now we can even use this to form another uh, um, fascinator if we want to we have simple ones like this but for this purpose I'm not using it for a fascinator I'm just using it of course you can just have something like this and you had your comb you can have it like this 
and you just add your a little roses, a little rose to it, and your comb, you are done. But well, for this purpose, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to twist, twist, see me, just twisting. I want to get something out, twisting, you know, just. So now I'm just going to secure it with my needle. Alright, this is what I'll get. This is what I come out with. I guess it's beautiful. I guess it's beautiful. I'm just going to attach it on it like this. I'll still work with the thread and needle. So I'm just going to get it like this. I'm going to attach using my trade and needle. All right, I'm done attaching the rose that I made to it. So the next thing I'll do is, I'm just going to attach the already made rose to it, which is this. I'll use the candle gum. attach this so after attaching the roses I just want to put a little bit of uh, bead on it after decorating the fascinator the next thing I'll do you can see my decoration I just have a little touch of bead on it a little touch of bead I think it's not too much it's quite reasonable after that I'll just turn it over and then attach the comb to it like this. Place it, use the needle and thread and tack. Of course, if you want to, if you want to use your candle gum, you can, but I would advise that you use the candle gum after tacking it a little with thread. It will make it stronger. So this is the finishing. So this is the finishing, a uh, simple, simple and beautiful. Thank you. Simple and beautiful. So this is Creative Ends platform. Please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, share the videos, and. Um, click on the bell so that whenever i make a new video you can get to know thank you very much everyone watching my channel bye